Haas has launched their 2023 car, the VF23, on January 31st in an online event, making them the first team on the grid to do so. However, the car shown during the launch was just their 2022 car, with new livery for the 2023 car. The new livery has left many amazed, and to be honest, it's the best 2023 car livery I've seen so far. So what does the new livery look like? Does the livery and a new sponsor signify the beginning of a new era for Haas? Stay tuned as we dig deeper into today's topic. The US team unveiled pictures of their new VF23 car a week before a shakedown at Silverstone on February 11th. The pictures show an updated red, white, and mostly black livery with a new title sponsor, MoneyGram. Even though their 2023 Challenger won't get as much of a makeover as last year's did because of the new F1 rules, it should look very different. Haas is keeping the cards close to their chest for now. The team's boss, Gunther Steiner, said, I like the livery. It's undoubtedly a more elevated and modernized look, which is fitting as we move into a new era alongside MoneyGram as our title partner. It's an exciting time of year for Formula One, and it's great that we're first out the gate to showcase our livery. But our attention is firmly on getting the VF23 on track and preparing for the season ahead. After how well we did last year, we really have something to build on. The whole team has worked hard to get to this point, and it's clear that Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hulkenberg are two proven point-getters who will be driving for us. I am so excited to get started. After Haas is launched, there will be three weeks of launches before preseason testing starts from February 22nd to 25th. The first race of 2023 is going to be on March 5th at the Bahrain Grand Prix. After spending three years in the last two spots in the championship, Haas was one of the biggest surprises at the start of the 2022 season. They scored points in each of the first two races and finished fifth in the first race in Bahrain. After that start, there were only four rounds that counted for points, and they ended up in eighth place, which was their best season since 2018. Now they have a new driver, Nico Hulkenberg, who will drive alongside Kevin Magnussen instead of the ousted Mick Schumacher. The biggest change for Haas this year is that Hulkenberg has joined the team to join Magnussen as two experienced drivers. The team still has a close relationship with Ferrari, which gives them their engines, but Hulkenberg's arrival is the biggest change in the team. Hulkenberg, who is 35 years old, has been out of F1 for three years. During that time, he's made a few short appearances as a reserve driver, which made him more popular. Even though the German is well known, especially for his time as a junior driver when with Force India, he still holds the record for the most races started without a podium. It's 181. He replaces Schumacher, the son of F1 legend Michael Schumacher. Schumacher had two good years left with Haas, but he made too many mistakes that cost too much in 2021. He also lost to Magnussen, who only joined the team as a last-minute replacement for Nikita Mazepin just before last year's first race. Hulkenberg says that he's ready to return to F1 full-time for the first time since 2019. Haas used to get most of its money from team owner Gene, Haas's company, Haas Automation. In the past, the American team tried out short-term sponsorship deals. Let's look back at Haas's colors and main sponsors from the each season since they joined Formula One in 2016. The VF16 was Haas's first Formula One car, driven by Roman Grosjean and Esteban Gutierrez. When you look at the car, it's clear that the young team didn't have much sponsorship. The car is painted in colors of Haas Automation, so it's easy to see that they didn't have much money. At the start of Haas's second season in Formula One, there weren't many changes. Haas Automation was still the team's main sponsor. Esteban Gutierrez was taken out of the second cockpit and Kevin Magnussen was thrown in. At the start of the season, Haas changed their look by going with the mostly gray color scheme. But after the Monaco Grand Prix, the American team changed the look even more by replacing some of the red accents with more gray. We tried to make the whole car a little more visible by changing the size and the placement of the numbers, said Gunther Steiner regarding the change. In 2017, Haas moved up to 8th place in the Constructors' Championship. For 2018, they wanted to get even better by making their VF18 more refined. The most obvious change was the addition of the required halo device over the cockpit. Haas also changed its livery back to a brighter color scheme. Since Haas Automation was still their main sponsor, the livery designers decided to make white, black, and red parts of the paint job stand out more. In 2019, Haas looked very different because they got their first title sponsor, which was British energy drink company Rich Energy. The partnership led to a very dramatic livery design, with a black base and gold accents that harkened back to the days of the famous John Player, Lotus. 
The car had some bursts of speed, but it had trouble keeping up over the course of the race. As the team and sponsor tried to figure out the complicated VF-19, the CEO of Rich Energy, William Story, took to Twitter to make fun of Haas's performance. This made the relationship between the team and the sponsor seem strangely bad. Rich Energy got into a copyright dispute with British cycling company White Bikes over their logo, which led to another twist in the story. Haas cut ties with Rich Energy before the British Grand Prix. For the rest of the season, the car's color scheme stayed mostly the same, but all references to the drink company were carefully removed. After dealing with the constant drama of the first title sponsorship deal, which turned out to be a bad idea, a very bad one, Haas went back to the basics for 2020. Their VF20 livery, it was simple, and it used the same colors that mostly were used in 2016 and 18. This was the last season that Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen drove the car together. Pietro Fittipaldi made his F1 debut when he replaced Grosjean after the French driver was hurt in a terrible accident at the Bahrain Grand Prix. In 2021, everything changed for us. Grosjean and Magnussen were both out of a job, and the team was openly trying to hire drivers by giving them money, leading them to signing Mick Schumacher because he was the Formula 2 champion. The German also brought some minor sponsors with him, but Haas really wanted and needed Nikita Mazepin. The Russian driver was able to get Uralkali, a Russian potash fertilizer company owned by his father, Dmitry Mazepin, as a title sponsor. The livery was a strange mix of Uralkali's colors, the colors of the Russian flag, the colors of the American flag, red, white, and blue on top of a black base. Never ones to have title sponsor with no trouble, Haas's 2022 car was first released to honor their sponsor title, Uralkali. This sparked an investigation by the World Anti-Doping Agency because it looked a lot like a Russian flag, which was banned by the Court of Arbitration for sport after Russian athletes were found to have doped. Haas did the first test with the Uralkali paint job in Barcelona. More drama was to come, though, when Russia started military operations in neighboring Ukraine. Since Russian mil companies, oligarchs, and athletes were hit with economic and sports sanctions, Haas cut ties with their title sponsor before the next preseason in Bahrain. Kevin Magnussen was brought back to replace Mazepin, and Haas showed up with a new paint job. The blue accents that made the old paint job look like a Russian flag were gone. Even though there won't be a big change to the rules like there was in 2022, there will be some small changes that teams can take advantage of. The ride height is the most noticeable change. This basically means that the cars will be higher off the ground, which will help reduce the porpoising effect that has affected teams thus far, especially Mercedes last season. To do this, the floor edge and throat are raised, and the diffuser edge is made stiffer. There's also an extra sensor to keep an eye on the whales. Even though these changes are mostly for safety, they're expected to cost teams time at first because the floor will be stiffer. However, a higher ride height is thought to have been a key part of Red Bull and Ferrari's 2023 cars. Aston Martin's rear wing and Mercedes' front wing will be no longer allowed on cars after 2023, and more safety features will be added. After Zhao Guanyu's scary crash at Silverstone last year, for example, the roll hoops have been made stronger. What do you think about new Haas's new era? Do you think that they'll finally be strong enough to compete with teams like Alpine and Aston Martin in the midfield? Leave a comment. And that's about it for today, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to make a little pit stop at the subscribe button for more great F1 content and even better puns. Until next time, cheers.